It's day two, it's Lana Breakpoint in Singapore 2024, and I'm chatting with Stein, the co-founder and CEO of Helio. How are you? How's your Breakpoint? Fantastic. Back Singapore home. is a little bit like coming home for me because I used to live here 10 years ago. Okay. So it's, uh, it's an awesome location and great event. It is. The, the event's great because it's, uh, it was in uh, Amsterdam last year and you're Dutch, so you're, I imagine yes. you were there. Yes. Um, but it was so spread out, whereas it's like one big building Everyone's in one big building. It really works. Yeah. Awesome. We actually, uh, we power the payments for tickets sales. Yeah. So we can see compared to last year, there's 50% more people. You can really see that reflected here yeah. with the, uh, the attendance. The power of the bull market and, yeah. and a few other things. Yes. Awesome. Now, I'm very familiar with what Helio is, but sure. for anyone watching, can you give us a 30 second explain like I'm five pitch or just sure. blurb on what is Helio? Absolutely. So at Helio, we're experts at crypto checkouts. So it's super easy to accept payments in USDC or Solana. And you can plug that in next to your credit card checkouts. So if you're a merchant selling e-commerce, digital goods or subscriptions, and you want to reach an audience of people that have a Solana wallet and have digital currency sitting in that wallet, we make it really easy for you to accept payments and drive your revenues. Awesome. And you've had some recent announcements, some pretty big announcements. Yeah. So we've been working really hard over the past year on a Shopify integration. It's called Solana Pay. Yeah. And we have a couple hundred merchants uh, selling with the plugin. We've done more than 75 million in sales over the past year. A lot of hardware projects, of course, Solana Mobile, Hive Mapper, but also a lot of uh, Web2 brands. And we've announced that we're going to take that one step further by allowing Shopify brands to sell directly on X with Blinks. Yep. And Blinks are kind of snippets of code that you can drop in a tweet, and it makes it really easy for folks to, be, you know, purchase an item. And they don't have to leave Twitter. Don't have to leave Twitter. Instantly create an order on Shopify, get your email, get your goods shipped. So it's really about reducing friction for shoppers when it comes to buying with Solana. Awesome. That's good. That's really good. The Shopify is mega good. Um, so I think we've got a, a good understanding of Helio. Now I just have some quick fire questions. Sure. You can pass any of them that, that you don't like. That's fine. Sure. Firstly, other than Helio, which you're most, you know, that's the project you're most excited for, of course. If you weren't working with Helio, what, who would you want to work with? So in the Solana ecosystem specifically, I'm a huge fan of a lot of the deep BIM projects. Yeah. So a uh, big fan of Hive Mapper, big fan of Helium. So I'd love to be part of those teams, to be honest. In the DeFi world, what's your favorite debt? Uh I'm a big fan of Camino. Yeah. Uh, I think the UX is super, uh, super easy. Uh, and that's really important. And crypto can be a little bit overwhelming for people sometimes. Yeah. Got all these buzzwords, but I think Camino make it really easy for uh, even somebody who's not so crypto fluent to maybe drop some USDC, start earning some yields, and really benefit from uh, all the upside that crypto has to offer. Definitely. I definitely see it. You know, the UX is similar with Helio and Camino. It's just like abstract away the difficulty. That's it. That's it. Yeah, big believers in that. Awesome. What is your favorite Solana meme point? Uh, I like Mother. I think okay. that's, a, that's a cool one. Um, that, that's got to be the one, yeah, yeah, for me. I also, of course, Bonk. I think they are the OG meme coin on Solana. I think they've done a tremendous job. Uh, I was at the uh, their boat party on uh, Wednesday evening. Yeah, they're such a good crowd. They do a lot for the space. Right? They do. They do a lot of activations, get people excited about coming into crypto. And and Helio and Bonk have you have the treasure hunt right on. That's it. Yes. So yeah, you have to love Bonk. Yeah, yeah we do. Awesome. Now, as a um, as a successful founder and CEO, uh, what one bit of advice like would be the best big bit of advice? One thing that you give to the crypto audience, maybe someone that wants to build something, maybe a lesson you've learned, yeah. or maybe just even just crypto advice sure. for the non-builders. So one of the things in crypto is the expectation that has to happen now. The, the, the thing you always hear is when, right? When somebody airdrops a token or an MST, when is it? When do I get a return? So the criticism of crypto sometimes it's too short-lived. It puts a lot of pressure, I think, on founders. Because founders are expected to make a big announcement uh, immediately rather than, let's say, build a product, really kind of do a lot of market research and then ship when you're ready. 
So my advice is this is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. So take your time before you launch something. Make sure that you're you know, building something, something that people want. And it's got to have longevity and kind of turn off the daily noise yeah. and, and try and build something that's there for the long term. That's what I would recommend. That's good. Great advice. If someone wants to follow you on Twitter, what's your Twitter handle? So my personal one is uh, Sol underscore Stein, S-T-I-J-N. And Helio? And Helio is yeah. Helio underscore Pay. And just to be clear, we're Helio and not Helios or Helium. Wait. Those are really awesome companies too. And it's a mistake that people often make in this ecosystem. Big fan of all three kind of Helios, Heliums, Helios. But yeah. we are Helio. You're Helio. Awesome. So, Thanks, Stein. Appreciate it. Likewise.